Hi everyone, I've been flying the GO5 for a little while, but uh, luckily it's time to upgrade. So Ozen has sent me a Swift 5, which is the lightweight version of the Rush 5, a high B. So I'm quite excited to see what's inside the bag and try it out. Come and get some of this crisp, Gemma. Ooh, these are not your usual colors. Quite like blue and orange. This is interesting. It has a little roll. Oh, this way. It has a little thing, so I think the rods must be kind of longish because they were wrapped around the high radius thing. So that's the risers. But maybe I should keep this. Usually the higher performance the wings have, the more the longer the rods are, so you have to be more careful when you fold them, so that's probably what that's for. G-string. Have, like have some G-stringing, but not on all of them. So the wing tips don't have it, but the cell openings in the center are probably a bit bigger and they can benefit from it more. The risers look um, almost exactly like your G05 ones, Jim. So, thinner webbing, uh, link lights, and the lines are sheathed on the lower cascade, most of them, uh, and then they go unsheathed from then on. Today we're at Salgado, and it's beautiful, but we're amazed because this takeoff has been completely redone and it's, it's massive now. This used to be, a lot of this used to be hill and bush and now it's a lot bigger takeoff. Just getting ready for a little test ground handle are you? Yeah we uh, always like to ground handle uh, our wings as much as possible before we actually fly them so at least that way we know that if there's any lines that are tangled or any mistakes that haven't been caught in the manufacturing process is a way to make double sure. Quite light today as well. I can always do a top to bottom. Just pulling it up a little bit, you can definitely feel the plastic in it. Because do you remember that um, Ice Peak 6 that I tried? Yeah. It had so many cells and the plastic rods are so long that you just feel more weight on the leading edge. And this compared to the Geo 5 and the Geo 6, you can definitely feel that it's heavier on the front. Interesting. Not by much, but... Oh, yes, yes. Are you happy with it? Just looking at the aspect ratio, I'm already pretty happy about the performance because you can feel it. It is different to a uh, stubby wing. Yeah. How's it feeling? Yeah, it's good. I mean, I've flown quite a few high Bs and even Cs before, so it feels all right. Quite manageable, definitely different than a low B, but nothing crazy. <laughs> There's definitely thermals.
Then we went to Gralia just next door and the wind was quite sideways and there was no one there and it wasn't too strong so it was the perfect time to see uh, how the wing ground handles. So trying quite a lot of break, trying different collapses. There was a little bit of turbulence as well so it's just part of that amount of time that it takes to uh, figure out what the nature of the wing is and how recoverable or not certain positions are for a certain amount of wind. So it's quite nice that because the cloth is so light and the lines are light as well, there's not a lot of weight to the wing, which means you can get away with uh, quite some big collapses in light wind and you'll still be able to keep the wing from touching the ground. If the wind is coming from the left, it means the best lift is on the right. So that leaves you in a weird position to choosing your takeoff. So I ended up doing this crabbing to try to take off into wind, kind of sideways, uh, to be able to turn downwind, make most of the lift. And I still managed to get just about high enough to top land again. You lucky bugger. <laughs> Look or skill. Bit of both. I think the, uh, the extra performance definitely helps. Really, do you think? Yeah. It's a bit of a dip. This time I wasn't so lucky, so I decided to try some slope landings. And then ground handle up the hill and flew off the top, but still there wasn't enough, so <laughs> ended up landing at the secondary takeoff and ground handling up the hill some more. kept insisting and on this particular place it seemed like there was a little bit more lift but still not enough to sustain flight so took my uh, last slope landing and called it a day because at this point landing on the bushes and You're going down. and on the rocks and thought it was a matter of time before maybe got hurt so called it a day Right, today we have a bit more wind and we've never really seen Gralia this busy before, so I'm gonna get the bigger harness and uh, give the Swift another go. as you'd expect from a, from a high B, a step up from the Geo. Uh, in classic ozone style, there's quite a bit of slack in the brakes. Uh, but the interesting thing with this one is after you, you take that much off, you take off the slack, there's almost like a wall. Pretty what much, do you mean by a wall? There's like a lot of pressure at once. Right, okay. Uh, so it's like nothing, 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 wall. <laughs> um, 
But then you can do all your flying with the first six inches, really. I mean, maybe to top land and stall and stuff, you need a bit more, but it's nice. Speed bar is not too heavy, so it's quite nice. And just in general, it feels more glidy and more smooth. Um, it responds a lot better to steering with the back risers. Uh, so if you pull oh, on the seat. Yeah, uh responds a lot better than the um than the Geo and the same thing to weight shift. So if if you weight shift, there's more of a dramatic effect. Family says. Is it nice? Yeah, do you want to try it? What, your wing? Yeah. Um, it definitely felt different. I think the flight wasn't long enough and I didn't get to play with it for long enough to say how yet. But um, yeah, nice enough. I think I still prefer mine. <laughs> well, that's it. That's our first few flights on the Swift. Thanks a lot, Matt and Ozone, for sending us the wing to play with. Thank you very uh, much. I hope I'll be able to give you some better thoughts after I've flown it for maybe 10, 20, 30 hours. But uh, as for now, I'm very happy to fly something with a bit more performance and still pre-safe, so. Cool. Um, As always, we'd like to thank all these lovely people for sponsoring us on Patreon. Um, and YouTube memberships, and which YouTube you can do right underneath here on the join button. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye! Bye!